The far right in France was expected to win a landslide victory in a snap election, but it turns out they came in third. Behind Macron's extremely unpopular centrist party, with the leftist parties actually taking first place. Similarly, last week, the Labour Party in the UK won the British election. And so you might be thinking, oh wow, is Europe trending towards the left? Eh, not really. Between Italy and the Netherlands and a bunch of other countries, we are actually seeing the far right and the right and centrists winning a bunch of elections across Europe. One country does not mean much. But what is interesting is the context. The Conservatives in the UK are in a very similar position to the Liberals in Canada. In Canada, the natural governing party is the Liberals in so much that they have held the most amount of time in office. Similar in the UK, the natural governing party is the Conservatives. And both, after a long tenure in office, are being thrown out because people are fed up with them. But in France, Macron, who is also extremely unpopular, didn't really do that bad. Macron is a centrist like Trudeau, and just like Trudeau, he is being protested a lot and a lot of people are mad at him. And in France, the centrist party that Macron leads ate up a lot of the conservatives that actually existed on the center-right. So in France, they don't actually have a right-wing party like we have conservatives in Canada or the US or the UK, they just have the far right. Okay, so I guess they're like Americans. Well, I guess the Americans are the Democrats who are kind of conservatives. My point being, Macron basically said to the French people, you have a choice. Do you want to elect the far right? And when offered the choice, people freaked out and were like, no, 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 no. All this to make the point that when it comes to the Canadian and American elections, don't expect anything to happen the way that you think it will. It might. But stuff happens in politics. If Biden steps down, which I think he will do, and is replaced by Harris or by Newsom, I think there's a decent chance that Trump loses the election. Similarly, in Canada, right now, about 40% of Canadians actually can't identify a picture of Pierre Paul Lievre. And once voters become more familiar with him, will he still be palatable? Probably, but the question is, will he still win a majority? Because that makes or breaks the political landscape of the country. Long story short, elections are interesting. It is important to look abroad and to see what is happening, to look at trends. And I am looking forward to seeing what happens both in the U.S. and in Canada in the next couple of elections.